last year when I met you, you were just off Teen Titans. You right. were, I think you were coming off Nightwing, or you had a very busy No, I'd already been off of Nightwing. I was, was working on uh, Tangent Superman. Tangent right. Superman. Right. And now, a year later, we got you on Superwoman. You got the baby. Yeah. You're, you're no longer one of DC's up and coming artists. You're now. Uh, talent. Everybody yeah. keeps saying that. I still feel like one of DC's up and coming artists. <laughs> You're <laughs> I not. Want you to establish. I, I, don't know. I guess I'm established. I don't think about it though. But you are. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay young, huh? No, it's not. I'm. Please, I'm far from young. But uh, no, it's not about staying young. It's just. I don't know. I, I guess I think about. I don't think about it in the same terms. Like, I just. It's all about the work for me, you know, as long as I'm working, I'm happy, so I don't think about, like, what my place in the industry is or isn't, or if I'm up and coming, or if I'm established, or what have you, I'm just, I'm just happy to be working. <laughs> Wait, so he doesn't hate Superman comics yet? You didn't, you know? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, that's good. Um, how, much, how big a roller coaster has this last year been for you? It's been interesting, actually. It, it's I uh, I was one of the things that I was afraid of when uh, when Katie was born was that I would have to take a lot of time off uh, initially. But you know, she, she's been a, a surprisingly cooperative infant. So <laughs> is she teaching herself how to eat yet? Or oh, are you teaching herself, teaching herself how to eat? She's the, okay. <laughs> she cooks dinner. No, she she. Like, we're trying, she's gotten to that stage because she just turned one uh, a couple weeks ago. So she's gotten to that stage where she's gotten really finicky as far as like, uh -oh. what she eats. So we, I made macaroni for her. And I'm trying to feed her macaroni by hand. So I hand her the macaroni, she takes it, she puts it in her mouth, pulls it out, and puts it back in the bowl. And walks away. <laughs> so you're just kind of like, where did she get this from? I mean, it's that PBS show. Yeah, it's Oprah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Oprah. Nah, with Oprah, it's all about chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for tea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you work, I have two questions about the whole super family right now. Right. When you, how closely do you work with action or? Um, Superman and the World of Kryptonite. Well, uh, on, on uh, New Krypton, it was fairly close, but we've been kind of doing our own thing with the Superwoman art. But we've got a uh, crossover coming up in August, so we're going to be working pretty closely with, with the other Superman. Any movies. word about this set crossover? I don't know specifics. Okay. I, I don't know specifics. But uh, the world of New Krypton. Uh, something happens with Superman being placed on trial, probably for sedition. Yeah, I so, so uh, but all I know is that our our section deal uh, we end up uh, fighting. Uh, it's it's Supergirl and Monel versus uh, Flamebird and Nightwing. Awesome. So that's gonna be fun to draw. So stuff like that. You get, and you, you get like a phone call from the editor going, oh, we need this here instead of there. Or... Very rarely. Like, um, I just finished Supergirl 42, and there was one panel that needed to be patched because they changed the design of Star Labs. Okay. I had drawn it the way that they used to draw it, which was sort of like, you know that A-frame building on uh, 42nd Street yeah. by Bryant Park? So it's sort of like that. That's the way they used to draw it, but, they, but uh, Renato Gantz changed the design. I work over there. And, and it's coming up in the issue of Superman, so I had to actually <laughs> redraw the building on the panel. Which it was a small panel, wasn't it? How, like, how often does changes like that happen that most artists don't know about? No, not that often actually. Very rarely, and it's never really like the the only other time that I really had to make like a major change like that was uh, during, towards the end of the the new Krypton arc and uh, Super uh, Supergirl 36, where I actually had to redraw Nightwing because the reference that I had gotten was based on uh, the, uh, the Alex Ross's initial design. And uh, Jason, not Jason, why am I saying Jason? Chris Kent had not uh, 
age shifted to that point yet. Yeah. So he was still, I had to draw him as more of a teenager. Kind of like a little thinner, a little smaller, a little younger looking than I had drawn him initially. So I had to redraw that panel. Yeah. Now, Red DC, I know she had a black lantern. Can we go down the uh, Super Family and which, which color would it be? Can we go down the Super Family and which color would it be? Well, Superman would definitely be a blue lantern. Yeah. So Super, Superman would definitely be Blue Lantern. Um, he represent. He definitely represents hope. Uh, Kara kind of goes back and forth. I can kind of. I can kind of see her as a Star Sapphire. Yeah, that's what I was. Going I, can, I can see her as a Star Sapphire because she does have a. You know, she does have a long. A, she's lost the love of her father. You know, she's struggling for the love of her mother. So she has you know a lot of issues in that regard. Uh, Superwoman is definitely a red lantern. There's a, there's, there's a, a, a lot of rage there, but she's all, she can also fall into that Star Sapphire category because she's longing for the love of her father. Well, what about the, the general then? Oh, <laughs> uh, dark, general, dark red. General Lane, no. There is no rage in General Lane. I general see yellow. I, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, still yeah. fear. I see yellow. He, he's all about propagating fear. He's all about propagating fear. A fear of Kryptonians and of aliens in general against, you know, and the threat that he, he perceives from posing. Nightwing Starfire? Uh, Nightwing's a blue lantern. Yeah, it does. Uh, 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 Flamebird is... That's Nightwing. But, uh, Flamebird is... I, I say blue. No, actually, I would see Flamebird as more as a Green Lantern. Actually. She's more about duty. She's, uh, she's uh, you know, she's about the mission. You know, she's, uh, Crystal Skate, what lantern is he? Christos Gage. <laughs> Christos Gage is an orange lantern. Bye, 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 bye. This is going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Uh, <laughs> and Jamal Eigel is a black lantern? Jamal Eigel is like, well, that, that would suppose that I've returned from the land of the dead. Which we kind of, we're getting there, aren't we? No! My this, career wasn't that. Bad. No, there was a Jamal Eagle Weaver. It's well, yeah, no, don't, <laughs> don't call it a comeback. I'm no, I'm saying it is. No, <laughs> no, there's a comic book called Jamal Eagle Weaver. Oh God! <laughs> well, it was, you know, and then they spiked interest when they did a Jamal Eagle Year One. Yeah, uh, fanboy. <laughs> And I'll be collecting to an omnibus. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, thanks for your time, Jamal. No problem. For more Jamal, you can just reach him at jamaligo.com or just visit his blog at jamaligo.blogspot.com.